Hello class! Today we are going to make a keto-friendly Asian take on the popular Mexican street food, elotes. Instead of corn, we will be using cauliflower as a low-carb substitute. Here are the ingredients. First, we will skewer the cauliflower florets. Since we will be cooking them in the air fryer, I'm only putting about 3 to 4 to 1 skewer so it will fit. Melt a stick of butter in a bowl, add 2 teaspoons of kimchi juice. I'm using a half teaspoon here so I'm doing 4 scoops. Stir and then add 1 teaspoon of onion powder and mix well. Brush on the butter mixture onto each cauliflower. Line the air fryer basket with a tin foil and place the rack on top. Put each skewer on the rack and then pop it in the air fryer. Since I like my cauliflower a little bit charred, I am putting it at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. But 10 minutes will be sufficient to cook this. Cut the cotija cheese into small chunks and put them in a food processor. Pulse until the cheese is finely grated. If you absolutely cannot find cotija cheese, you can substitute with the parmesan cheese. Now put the cheese on a flat plate and set aside. In a bowl, add 4 tablespoons of mayonnaise, 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, and 2 teaspoons of sesame oil. Add 1 packet of the Sheen Ramen Soup Seasoning. Stir until it's mixed well. Add 1 teaspoon of the kimchi juice and mix. Take the cauliflower out of the air fryer and onto a plate. Brush the mayonnaise mixture we made earlier. Coat the cauliflowers evenly. Now cover the cauliflower with the grated cotija cheese. Now lightly dust with some tokarashi. Tokarashi is a Japanese 7 spice blend. It's not super spicy and it provides a toasty umami flavor. If you don't have tokarashi on hand, you can skip this step and go straight to the tahini. Put the cauliflower skewers on a serving plate and top with some chopped chives and chopped parsley or cilantro. Finish with a squeeze of lime. This dish makes a great keto-friendly appetizer or a side dish and it's another way to spice up a boring cauliflower. If you like this recipe, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.